For the first time since he's retaken office, interim sheriff in Greenville, Johnny Mac Brown, sat down with Greenville County Council today for a big meeting. Under the old leadership, the relationship between them was frayed, but today this was a step toward mending things. It's a story our Erin Rogers has been on top of from the beginning, and she's joining us live in Greenville with a lot more on what they discussed today and how this is going. Erin? Well, Amy, a couple of weeks ago, both Sheriff Brown and council members told me they wanted to sit down with each other, and today they made that happen right here at County Square. I have one question. Questions and answers. What our problems are, what our needs are. To get on the same page. Running from here to there and back again. <laughs> yes, sir. We've had a very stressful relationship with the sheriff's office for the last several months. My name is Neil. But with the new sheriff in town, county council hopes that changes starting with their meeting today. It's just a way to clear the air and let us all know what's going on. It certainly brought it to light. Council asked Sheriff Brown questions about agency needs, staffing salaries, possible changes to the SWAT team and the budget. I hope I answered their question. I have nothing to hide at the sheriff's office. Uh, if they want to know where the money's being spent, all they have to do is ask. A transparency council says they didn't have with removed Sheriff Will Lewis. If there was more oversight, more involvement by council, that little Charlotte fiasco wouldn't have happened. This jump and learn how to jump out of airplanes when we don't even have an airplane to jump out of wouldn't have happened. We're better than that. One proposal on the table is for council and the sheriff to return to their system of meeting quarterly where Sheriff Brown would update the Public Safety Committee on what was happening at the Sheriff's Office. I'd like to see, would you agree to go at least back to the old days where there was an ongoing relationship and communication between council and the Sheriff's Office? I have no, uh, no problem there whatsoever. I used to do it, we used to do it, and it always worked well. Now, CIT training was also brought up at the meeting this afternoon. Now, that deals with de-escalation tactics during mental health calls. Sheriff Brown told us that he's not sure yet if he wants to just go ahead and train all the deputies or if he wants to create a specific CIT team that handles the mental health calls. Live in Greenville, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News.